either the only or one of the only. You know, me, me and Pookie. Okay, <laughs> now this year, me and Shanae. <laughs> right, right, you know, right. uh, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. <laughs> you know, it's you and you know, it's 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 it's, and and, and I won the first one years and over twenty years ago, and it and it doesn't make sense. Even I don't. My wife is uh, will tell you that uh, I have the most immense ego <laughs> of any man she's been. And even I don't think I'm the only person of color that could have figured out how to put a couple of notes together for your show. Yeah. You know, yeah. even I don't think that. Yeah. And uh, we have to make changes and, and uh, it's you guys who are making films that are gonna, gonna make those changes, you know. It's only when you say that I wanna, I wanna have a musician that sounds like he comes from where I came from. You know, that it makes a difference and it, it changes. You know, I mean, uh, there's not enough African American composers. There's even less female composers out there. It's uh, just absolutely pathetic. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I was talking with an Asian gentleman the other day, and uh, he was just a composer who was upset that, you know, when he came, he's coming in for this big moment at one of the big scoring stages for his score, and there had been uh, some problem with the uh, computers uh, at, on the scoring stage that day, and they just immediately jumped and assumed that he was there for my IT and was gonna fix the problem. <laughs> you know, when in point of fact, it was his score that they were trying to get those computers up and running so that they could play his music, you know. and. Uh, small, the, in, everybody has small individual stories, but you know, if you wanted to change, let's start by not looking for and expecting the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not expecting to be left out, so I don't get left out. Mm -hmm. I'm not expected to be looked at as a black man, so I don't get looked at as a black man. I, I expect more. I expect better. You have to believe that you belong. Mm. I believe that I belong. And I believe that it's, it's far past time for us, uh, of us being invisible. So we, that has to start with you as an individual in that state saying, hey, you know, I'm worthy. I should be here. Mm -hmm. You should check my shit out. I'm pretty doggone cool, <laughs> you know. And the more you feel that, the more you keep going for that. You feel how it changes everybody. It is easier than you think to change your heart and change your mind with the beauty of your heart and your mind and your energy. Okay? All right, all right. Um, <clears throat> now, with that being said, I, can, I know that you're doing things with your company with music licensing and things like that. Could you tell us more about the music licensing catalogs and the keys to having a successful one. I'm, everyone doesn't necessarily know what that what that is. Well, uh, music libraries are are essentially publishers, and uh, they they come up with uh, low cost ways for people to do uh, to license music. If you're you're, uh, you you hear licensed music all the time from hit records. If you look at the Mary Jane, we have every huge hit record and, and special and uh, songs that you haven't heard of in there where a music supervisor or the showrunners go out and look for that music and and like pay a fee to get it into the show well if it's if you're if the piece of music you like happens to be beyonce well and you just stuck on it then <laughs> it don't cost you <laughs> you know and so Instead of the instead of the fifty or hundred thousand dollars you might have paid for that, you might want to pay two thousand dollars to Pookie. Yeah. <laughs> Pookie seems available. Pookie's always available. <laughs> you know, <laughs> who has a really cool song that's, uh, that that does that musically does what you need, that creatively does what you need. You know, and you just don't have to spend that kind of money. So um, I started uh, True Music actually uh, uh, about uh, about thirteen. Uh, 13 and a half years ago, uh, I, had, I had actually toyed with the idea of, of retiring, moving to, moving to New Zealand or something, you know. Mm -hmm. And I thought, boy, I, I, I hadn't done enough. I felt like, you know, I hadn't done very much for 
other people, younger people that are trying to get into the business and things like that. And, and I had also realized that music uh, libraries were becoming more critical to the process of how we do music. And I said, oh, we get a twofer. We get in as I started adding more music. Because I looked at a show one time that I was doing, I had 80% of the music in it, you know, and maybe 20% of it was licensed from other places. And uh, 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 within a few years of running that particular show, uh, uh, I looked at a cue sheet one time, and and 60% uh, of the music was from outside people that I hadn't heard of, you know, and it had nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. So we, I, I had toyed with the idea many years before that of doing a, a music library, but now with this feeling like I wanted to do something, and at the same time feeling that the business itself was changing, and I wanted to stay out in front of it as well if I were going to stay involved. Uh, we started a music library, and uh, now we have thousands of uh, thousands and thousands of uh, young artists that uh, have their music in the catalog. We we probably license anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand pieces of music uh, a year. Uh, we within the, within the first uh, five years, and this was a really important one. We had uh, we won uh, seven ASCAP Film and TV Music Awards all by minority men and women and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, what we'll call uh, the other. <laughs> okay. right. that's, that's what the white guy called in this case. What's the other? <laughs> that's the other. Uh, so and 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 I, I looked at it and I said, wow, if I had not, if I had decided to go away, that would not have happened. And these people are, you know, uh, have gotten a step into the business, something that nobody can take back from them. They're still going to have that award, you know. And they still, and people are going to look at them, if, even if they're not just doing this, whatever they're doing, someone's going to say, hey, this guy has, or this young lady has to be pretty good at something that they got this, yeah. you know. And that they're, you know. Uh, they must have it together on some level, and I think that that can be helpful for them to do other things along the line. And uh, if, uh, if building the library helped doing that, uh, helped to do that, then I thought I think it was worthwhile. Absolutely. Now, how does someone get into a library such as, as yours? Well, you know, the the whole library thing. There's numerous libraries out there, mm -hmm. big ones, small ones. Uh, uh, True Music is a, a mid-level uh, library, but we're very, very, very effective. We have music on virtually every network and cable channel out there. Um, but the uh, and, and music library, it's not hard. Music libraries are looking for you. You know, if you're a musician, they want your music. Trust me. I mean, that's they're in the business. Publishers are in the business of of of, of pushing your music. When I was young and I was starting out. Publishers actually used to sell your music for you. Used to get you plays, give you lists of recording artists and, uh, to uh, 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 write for, and uh, and that's really not the case today. You know, publishers I think are, are bankers now. They they give you an advance on. They give you an advance probably generally about eighty five percent of of uh, of the worth of the previous uh, single of the artist that you got a song placed on. You know. And then that sound right? That sounds like refining a house. Huh? Yeah, you, buy, yeah, was, you buy the house, and, and if you want some money, take some money out of it, they'll give you up to, you know, 85% of the, the, value of, the value of the house right. at that moment. I mean, come on, you know. But, but uh, music libraries are just solely in the business of if they don't place music, they don't make money. They don't make money by just holding it. So they have, so they really, really are pretty effective out there in uh, in getting your music placed. And I think that today, in today's environment, all composers, all composers should have some sort of involvement with some library. I'm not saying that for hey, give a million calls to my library. I'm saying check all of the libraries out and find out which one is best for you, and what might be which one might be effective for you, and and make that a part. It's not. Hey, here's the end all be all, and it's not some song that you're gonna write that's just gonna change your life, and that just that one person that you met, and that's gonna change it. It's just what I found is just a series of things that, that you put together, and the line keeps getting longer and longer and longer, and one day you you don't remember the last time that you couldn't pay for your 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 meal. <laughs> God bless you. You know. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, last question. Unless you unless you get up out of here. Um, 
Right now, what are you what are you looking most forward to right now, Kurt? Uh, look, uh looking forward to uh, starting this new season, which we just did this uh, week. We're going to be uh, doing a new uh, CBS series called The Neighborhood, uh, uh, starring uh, uh, Cedric Cedric the Entertainer, and uh, that's going to be a, a really good one. This is <laughs> this is really going to be the one that where people say, "Oh my God, this is." It's going to be the thing that people remember in Century Four because I think it's a brilliant show, and um, uh, looking forward to getting back to the new season of Black Lightning. Uh, if any of you are fans of Black Lightning, uh, I know I just saw the first episode uh, a couple of days ago and just started working on it, and oh my God! Right out the gate, you are going to be losing it. <laughs> you are going to be losing it. I'm just trying to figure out how to keep the music uh, help the process. Going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Before you go, we do have a honorary Go Festival award for you. Just thank you so much for being here. Thank you for donating your knowledge, your wealth of knowledge for us all.